Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate. And those of you that are looking for an affordable, smaller, four bedroom home, boy, have I got the one for you today. This one is called The Crown. And yes, it's a little bit dark in through there. Let's see if I can, there we go. So, this, as I said, is a four bedroom, 1500 square foot home on the affordable side of course there's many options that you can get as far as color goes you can get uh, different color siding different color shutters you know, different options like that so we're not going to be able to jump down and uh, get around to the back side here but uh, I'll show you as much as I can of it so this one has a family room it has you know your living room and then like I said got one window on this side and it's a bunch of windows on the back side there but uh, we are at uh, Titan Factory Direct here in uh, Oklahoma City Oklahoma obviously so uh, anyway with further ado let's head on in So now as we get started here, being a four bedroom, you know, that kind of stuff, two bathrooms, 1500 square foot, as you can see, your living room and all your other rooms are not gonna be extremely large, they're gonna be extremely small. So, <laughs> that's out of the way. You can also see this is a wall board home. That's what makes it on the affordable side. So I like the, you know, they staged their homes fairly well here. You know, it was actually, when I stopped by yesterday, as I was saying, they were in the middle of restaging one of the homes because uh, the furniture that they got was too big for the bedroom and it made the bedroom look smaller than what it really was. So there's a lot that goes into staging these homes other than just putting stuff in them. <laughs> They stage them to make things look appropriately sized. Speaking of appropriately sized, we've got this island that fits just right in here for the size of the home. It doesn't come way out, it's not super long. Gives you a good prep area or seating for two. With the black Whirlpool appliances in here double sink and your window above it does open you have our drawers right next to our stove and some really wide cabinets here Now, if you wanted the induction or, you know, the gas or something like that, I'm sure you could option that in as far as uh, your stove goes. This just has your standard burners with the heat sensors on it. Of course, we have the coffee bar over here with some cabinets around the fridge.
And into our utility room here, we do have the hot water tank and the furnace as soon as we walk in. Your electrical panel is sitting right here. Now it is a little on the low side, but still easily accessible. And on the back side here is our washer and dryer hookups. Now I don't know if you've got room or not, but I would try to put me a small chest freezer off in that corner over there. Get you a top load instead of a front load and then you got plenty of room to uh, stick your uh, chest freezer in that corner. So the dining room and family room right here is kind of all one room. You've got a light centered above your table there. Then we've got our family room. Now this is where I would probably hang my TV is right where they've got a fake one. Okay, so now once again, this one being more of the entry level, all your vents are in the floor. So I know that it can hinder some of the furniture placement. And so we're just going to go ahead and get uh, the first bedroom out of the way. Decent sized closet for the bedroom. And coming out of this bedroom, we've got our other two over here. We're going to get the guest bathroom first. So now there's power in most of the home, but obviously, so as you can see, the bathroom here did not have power. We've got our shower tub combo here. So there's the bedroom we did first. We're gonna to go to this bedroom. So one thing I've noticed is uh, all the Champion homes I've filmed has got this one recessed light kind of in the center and it does put out a lot of light. It was on in one of the other homes I filmed and it was kind of dark in that area and it put out plenty of light. So all your bedrooms look to be pretty close to the same size. Closets are all the same size in all three bedrooms. Okay, 
So now we will come back to this end of the home. So now in your main bedroom, you can see you do have a lot of space in here though. So now as we come into the master bathroom here, or primary bathroom, you can see you've just got the single sink. Hello, Raiden. We've got big cabinets down below though. Lots of cabinet space in there. Of course, there's no shelves, but you got you can put a ton of stuff in there. And there's your toilet area. In here they went with just the shower. Now I'm assuming you could probably get the shower tub combo if that's what you wanted. Maybe get just a tile shower or just a tub. I would prefer, you know, just the shower for myself. And now as you can see, your closet is in your bathroom and there is no door in front of it. That is something I would check into. If I was gonna get this home, I would check into seeing if you could get a pocket door put in right here. And make that opening a little bit narrower. But you do get plenty of closet space. You could easily add another rack there or even coming off of here. The same thing at this end. And then you've got lots of space to hang clothes. And I would like to see you guys hang out in the comment box, leaving me lots of comments, letting me know. So for a four bedroom, smaller home, is this something that uh, you think would work for you? If that's what you're looking for. And let me know in the comments down below what you think. What changes would you like to see? What options would you like to see? And uh, while you're there, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, that way you get notified when I upload videos, share this video with your friends and family, and I will be back with some price information shortly. Thanks for watching. All right, so now we gotta get into some price information on this home, but first off, there's some long audio pauses. I'm sorry, those fire alarms were non-stop in that home. Price information on this home. Titan Factory Direct doesn't like to give out an actual price on the homes because they vary depending on options and location and things like that. So I did a little research for you. I could find this home at another dealer in Oklahoma City, or not Oklahoma City, but in Oklahoma, <clears throat> and they had it listed for $115,000, which makes it the perfect entry-level home for those of you that can't afford a luxurious four-bedroom home but need a four bedroom home. Now I personally don't need a four bedroom home. It'd be nice to have a three bedroom at least, so I have a room to use as an office instead of my living room. <clears throat> but that said, four bedroom would be even better in, his, in the sense that it gives Raiden a whole nother room to play in, and then he's got his bedroom. But, so there's a use case for a four bedroom for me even. But that said, you know, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.